<laughs> Robin. Ice day today. It's an it's an way. ice day. It's right? an ice day, and it isn't even that bad out. Uh, I mean, it's 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 pretty icy, pretty slippery. <laughs> it's bad, but it's but winter, it's and not, you get you get shit happening. But it's not one of those crazy ice storms right. where like fucking two inches of ice build up on branches and bring down power lines Brings and all that shit. everything. And I'm talking about our our area, so I'm being local. But uh, northwest uh, of us, they got more ice, more snow, shit like that. Oh man, this thing. And then this went from Chicago got hammered. Chicago all the way down to Dallas. This thing kicked Dallas, the yeah. shit out of uh, of the country. Yeah. I think 33 states were affected by this storm. Yeah, a lot of airport That's unbelievable. Uh, closings. A lot of airport closings. But we have uh, I, I guess I guess we talk for uh, all the news stations out there. They're just a bunch of assholes. <laughs> they 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 talk like they're from the future or something. <laughs> The future. They make believe they're from the future, and they're yeah. giving us knowledge that we need to know right now. They 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 had a reporter on on ice. Yeah, it's an ice storm, so the sidewalks and the streets are very slippery. And they're like, it's it's slippery. So see, watch what happens to me here. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We when, all know. When they take that camera and pan down, she goes, uh, uh, look, look, uh, if I get a shot uh, down here, if you look at the road, see, this is all ice. Yeah. And she's touching it, and, like, she goes, this is all ice. This is covering the road. And if you look at my car, you'll see ice on the windows, ice on the windshield. Right. Give yourself some extra time to melt this off before you drive. And, why, really? are you, why are you telling us this? Really? Why? Are you from the future and we don't know? I was they, they darting said, out in fucking uh, uh, patent leather shoes right. with leather soles on them, running to my car, which I jumped in and just gassed. There you go. <laughs> she goes, you might need a de-icer, and you might want to, you know, turn on your, your heat and your... De uh, 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 Should your, I defrost it? Yeah, defrost yeah, and all that. For, for at least a half hour. They give you the time, like you're baking a yeah. fucking pie. Uh, you, yeah. Give it a half hour. And do it in your garage with the door closed. Yeah, and please you, do in the that. vehicle. Please you do, do that? that. And then she's banging on a street sign. Look what the ice storm has done to the street sign. And she's pounding on it, and nothing's happening. <laughs> I, I guess she was hoping for a big moment with the whole where the whole sign yeah the ice, the ice falls off the, off the sign, sign. I don't know they're all looking for their dramatic moment it's unbelievable yeah I don't know I don't know what use it it, it serves uh, they have nothing else to talk about they hype up things also uh, they did make this sound worse than it is. Or, and, and made yeah, it sound even, like it was going to be worse. But even when it's bad, I yeah. don't understand. I just don't understand why yeah. they spend so much time reporting on obvious basic shit about it. <laughs> like, the weather should be, look, man, we're going to get a foot of snow, and you know what that means. So good luck yeah. to you. That's all you need. You know what that's, to do. That, that's all you need. You, you think flights will take off today? Uh, yeah, uh, that could be I'm thinking about wrong. Patrice going to Houston. Like, I wonder, I wonder if that plane takes off today. Uh, Why don't we call Patrice in a little while and see where he's at? But a lot of delays. Actually, uh, again, my 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 house guests uh, cannot leave uh, even today. The so first flight they can get back to um, L.A. Uh, is, um, I think, tomorrow. So that's a that's a party. Keep oh, the yeah. party I don't going. Care. I don't care. Keep, Keep the party, the party going. going. Well, that's yeah. The airports are just uh, shut down. So, but I, 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 look, she's this dumb bitch is just talking about it. There's Bloody nothing to blah. say. Bloody blah 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 blah. Right? Yeah. Obviously, it's going to be slippery today in the New York area. It is. Yeah. But people know that. Be They've careful. been driving a while. They're like, oh, I know what this is. Okay. We get one or two of these a season. Yeah. All right. So it's it's this today. Okay. Don't take out the Shelby. Yeah, don't That's take out the show. Exactly. <laughs> That's what you do. Exactly. <laughs> and we've had so much um, snow in the New York area. The, it's the best story of the day. I want to jump right into it. They found a dead guy in a car. I know. Holy wow. shit. How great is that? Dead guy in the car. Dead guy decides, uh, well, before he's dead. Pre-dead. Pre-dead. <laughs> Decides, I fucking hate my life. I'm going to fucking eat a shotgun. Mm -hmm. So he, he's got a parked car, and he eats a shotgun. Yeah. And I guess I guess then it proceeds to snow at, like it has, you know, I don't know which storm this was. And it covered his car. Yep. They just found him yesterday. They plowed him in and everything, so wow. he, he was covered with snow. He's one of those. He was in one of those cars where you can't even tell there's a car there because the you know the plows had come through so many times, and now with the the wintry mix, like Ann said, it's like very crusty and really hard to even you know uncover your car. Well, they found him yesterday, a week later. How creepy would that be? Like at night, all quiet, and he's just like fucking dead there with his eyes the, just open in the quiet fucking car, coming waiting, waiting for his wake. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you wonder if he stinks or no? Probably because the cold probably didn't really probably, lie. Uh, I don't know. There were a couple of days that probably weren't below freezing. and Yeah. I'm sure the cold probably helped, though. Yeah, how, it's not like it was a summer day. That would have... What a great story, though. Yeah. I, I, I think they're saying they're not... They're not, uh, they're not saying how they found him, whatever that means. I don't know. We had no head. Oh, yeah, probably. A little bit of snow melted off the window, and somebody was like, what the... Oh, geez. Yeah, I look like fucking the Pulp Fiction car. <laughs> <laughs> That is oh, a, shit, I shot Marvin in the face. That is a great story, though. Yeah, that guy. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, this is. Godspeed to you. Steve on Long Island. Steve. Yes. Yeah. Yes, good morning. Good Hello. morning, Steve. The best thing about this weather is you crash your fucking car. But, ooh, all the trees look pretty. Boo. <laughs> yeah, the news likes pointing out how the trees look nice. and Yeah, but, yeah. but be careful on the roads. And, and uh, you know, the ice is also on the power lines. I never would have known that unless I... Oh, uh, wow. I thought it had missed the power lines because they're so thin. Yeah, thanks for telling us that future person. Yeah, yeah, future person of the future, giving us information. Information from the future. From the future. Yeah, it was... Uh, like, what could they... What could the weather actually tell us that would be important? A tsunami hitting New York, obviously. That every or, every uh, fucking speck of snow was radiated. Radiated. That, that would, would suck. That would be very helpful. Radioactive snow would really be bad. But there's nothing in a snowstorm they could tell us that we kind of don't already know. What if it only looked like snow, but it weighed as much as a neutron star <laughs> drop? Oh, God, it's just going <laughs> right through one, you. Yeah. <laughs> it, just go, it goes right through your body instantly. <laughs> I'd want to know about that. Sure. Yeah. Because uh, it's a snowflake, but it's 400 tons. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Called the Nagel Flake. <laughs> I, I didn't, Eric, I didn't say that. <laughs> Eric is just going to burst. Eric is just looking. I don't mean you know that. Well, I just mean out of anger. I shouldn't, you shouldn't let uh, someone else do his job. But... Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit, well, Eric, man. When he rock, when he, he rocks, when he rocks, he could solve, his... solve half his problems if he, if he wanted to. Oh, he, he chooses to joke there, too. <laughs> yeah. When he rock leaves his job, it's going to be taken out in cuffs. Feeling relieved yet facing life in prison. <laughs> and a bunch of dead people. <laughs> well, at least you guys will have a chance to run because I know who he's going after first. <laughs> yes, Sam. <laughs> Probably yeah. Sam, right? Sam will get it first. Who would you go after first, Iraq? Iraq? I thought it was a guarantee that I'm on the top of the list, but would you go for Sam first? Uh, uh, yeah, I think Sam's going to be uh, talked to first. Talked to? I you like that. A, a, a talking to? I like how you put that. Who's second? Uh oh. Uh, that I think is a free for all. Whoever's next to him. <laughs> then it's just. Oh, then it doesn't then it's matter. Just fucking I every man it. for himself. I love it. See, that's why I don't try too hard to like befriend people at work. Is it? Yeah. If you're not the number one guy that they're not going after, that doesn't matter. After he's that. got his primary target. Yeah. And then the rest is just going to be like. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Craziness. Yeah, he's going to go after that one he really hates, and then <laughs> and then it doesn't matter at that point. You might as well just keep shooting. <laughs> What's the difference at that point, right? Oh, E Rock. Uh, yeah, but, uh, tornadoes, I guess. Yeah, yeah, they had. If they know there's, if, no, if they know there's a tornado coming, that's important for, that's, for yeah. the, the weather girl to tell you about. And Even, we're trying to get Dorothy going so we can warn people. <laughs> Even hurricanes, Dorothy. even hurricanes, you don't really have to, like, spend too much time on. Because they're yeah. so slow they're moving. They're slow. They, uh, by the time they hit you, you know they've been coming. Yeah. So weather, uh, the, the headline today, weather on the news is just a complete waste of time after about 10, 15 seconds. Who needs it? Yeah, a quick headline, boom, rain today. Yeah. You don't even need to say, so you're going to need your rain gear. We know that. You no, know, you're not going to walk out and go like, oh, shit. Right. Oh, and fuck, even if you I do wish walk out, because you didn't know, you're going to be like, oh, let me grab a raincoat. Right. It's raining. So, uh, the drive-in was a little rough, though. It was a little slippery eh, on the uh, secondary streets. Eh, the highway's not too bad, pretty wet, but the people, um, they panic, you know? Mm -hmm. They get a little uh, panicky Pete in them, and they don't want to really move. Mm -hmm. So you got to make moves, which makes it a little more dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, just get out of the left lane. Or just so. stay home. If you can't handle yeah, yeah, the weather, stay, stay home. home, man. Stay home. Is Zsa Zsa Gabor dead? Why is she trending today? Do they, she, do, do they, they take are, another leg? They're lopping limbs off. She's vomiting blood. Yeah. She's, uh, she may have had a stroke. It's bad if they you have a stroke and they, they aren't sure if you did. Yeah. They don't like, know what if kind of that, shape were you in before? They don't know if it's your stroke or your leg stump rotting. <laughs> oh, poor Zsa Zsa. Unbelievable. Zsa Zsa. She must not be fun to fuck these days. Why do you have to go out that way? Why do you have to go out that way? Piece by piece. They're piece by yeah. piece, really. Yep. Being mailed off to heaven. They, <laughs> they really are just fucking 
cutting her up and letting her hang in there. What's making her hang in there? Like some people just uh they're sick and then they're dead. That's uh, just the body. She's just hanging in there for it's just no the reason. Body. She probably hasn't had a real a yeah. real life in many, a real many years. Thought. Nah, not anything. Really. But you remember his being young and all those talk shows. And oh, and she was full of like guff. Yeah, she, was, she sure was. Was she the one that smacked the cop? I believe so. In yeah. Face. There was Jaja uh, ja and Ava. Ava uh, Gabor was the one from Green, Green Acres. Green Acres, right? And Jaja yeah. ja was the one that yeah slapped the cop. Jaja ja was showing just our age because that goes. Uh, you want to know how many years ago uh, that how is? How long ago is that shit? When did Jaja ja, uh, slap the cop? Which I remember like it was yesterday. I'm uh, gonna guess twenty years. Oh my god! I'm gonna go with twenty years ago. Are you saying ago. twenty fucking years? I'm gonna go twenty fucking years. I'm gonna say she was born in 1917. <laughs> She's 93. Oh my god! I'm gonna say twenty years ago. So what? What? What does that give us? 91, right? 1991. Come on, give it to me. Wow. More. What? More Further what? back? Holy shit. 89? 89, she smacked that cop. <laughs> That's 22 years? 22 years ago. 22 years ago, she smacked that cop. She's a cunt. <laughs> She is. No, well, she she is, but she doesn't have one anymore. They just removed it. This <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah. She sneezed and it fell off. <laughs> it they, shot out like a water it, balloon. Yeah, they thought it was two snails. <laughs> but she was a cunt. I remember. I never really liked her because I, I just thought she was an entitled twat. You know what? She what was she fucking famous for? Exactly. She for being like a, a a bitch. Was, she was famous for being kind of a bitch. Wasn't she one of Merv's girls? And I was say, she? oh, girl, yeah. quotations. She Merv liked help. having them around. Huh? So Paris Hilton, in the sense that just like these socialites that don't really do yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ava Gabor was at least in like Green Acres. Ava was in Green Acres. What, what, what is Zsa, Zsa most famous for? Slapping a cop. Uh, I guess career-wise. Uh, yeah, uh, but getting married to fucking men. Rich men and then fucking them over in divorce cases. I really think that's what she, she's known for. That was her for. thing? I think that's her thing. Like, how did she get on TV she and must famous? Had, she must have had a pussy made of silk then, man. Yeah. Ah, uh, and then what she did she used to do Hollywood Squares? Yeah, but Danny's looking at her her film. Oh, oh did she thing. act okay, yeah. Yeah, but there's oh yeah, oh. Oh, yeah right, right. Yeah, yeah but her last film was in nineteen fifty three, I think. <laughs> no. She's got uh, she was in a very Brady sequel. She was in Oh, a, a cameo in a very Brady and, sequel. The Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously just a bunch of shit. She Hold on, but in. most of her stuff comes up to the 60s. She yeah. was in Dream Warriors? Uh, no, like 66, no, no. 67, 72. I don't recognize one of those Then there films. are the joke cameo appearances that she made after that. So uh, before that, she was just in like bad She's like a B actress. Movies. Yeah. Yeah. But, she stinks. But she's trending today, so... They took a leg, but I thought they took a leg last week. Well, that was only that wasn't even cheating. Even, that was just because the payment was late. <laughs> <laughs> they threatened to take a leg, and they had to. Did they take no, another leg? That's what arm. I want to know. Uh, I don't think. I think it's one leg. That they. I thought they did this last week. Though. She's one leg down. One to go. Why did they say they took another leg, or did they say I don't uh, know. she I had think, a stroke? I think she was coughing up blood. And she yeah. got an infection or something. But her husband comes blood, so he said it was no problem. <laughs> it was actually well, a he's funny the, little twist. The husband is the the guy from our famous clip. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'm a bad boy, yeah. Oh, that was the husband, right? That's the husband of Zsa Zsa. Yeah. What was his name? Uh, Pr Prince? It's some weird name, right? Prince. Something Von? Prince Von Asshole. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah, know. She's, uh... No, we'll know his name when we hear it. Yeah. She's pretty much, uh... End of story. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, over for uh, Zsa Zsa very quickly. Uh-oh. It's, uh, it's, it's snowing lavender now. Yes. Damn it. Frederick Prince Von Enholt. And right. Holt. Yeah, I knew it sounded like asshole. So and Holt, asshole, whatever. <laughs> it's snowing lavender. I'm going to make the joke again. Cause that that uh, is a, I, uh, what is that, a mix? A wintry mix? It's just, I don't know. I it's don't know dumping it lavender right now. And a little green is going to dump and some blues. Some blue up top. Some it's blues up pretty top. Weather. No, those aren't actual the color of snow. That's actually <laughs> the oh, chart. literal meteorologist, <laughs> Jim. <laughs> the other, Zsa Zsa was one of, uh, on Carson and SC. Oh, okay. That, oh, that was her. I, I always thought that was uh, Raquel Welsh. Let's get, I, let's go, Paul. I think it's urban legend. I don't know. I think we I did think this. It bit. happened. Oh, Paul, no. go ahead. Wasn't Jaja Gabor the one that was on Carson? She had that cat. Johnny asked her if he could oh. pet her pussy. You remember that's that? Bullshit. I, 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 I doubt yeah, that ever happened. Urban myth. Yeah, I don't. It, 
based no. on something that was said that wasn't I don't know, nearly. Man. I as, remember seeing uh, the clip, and I think it was Raquel Welsh. I would guess uh, that she said pussy. She might have said like, "Do you want to pet my pussy, or do you want to? This is my here's my pussy." Uh, here we go. We're snoping. And Carson we snoped made a while. risque remark there to a go. starlet who had appeared on the Tonight Show with a cat on her lap. Status. False. Oh, sorry, Paul. Jean Jean right. Gabor was a frequent visitor on the Carson couch. Uh, as the tale has it, she once came on carrying a cat, which she held in her lap. She said, uh, she is said to have asked Carson, Would you like to pet my pussy? He fabled, his fabled reply was, I'd love to, but you'll have to remove that damn cat. <laughs> uh, the origin, uh, what really happened? The inconsistency of detail found in repetition uh, also been told uh, to be Raquel Welch and Margaret Diane Cannon, which uh, Dakota Fanning <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Farrah Fawcett Majors, among others. What, what was the? Um, wow, it's it, it's so it's such an urban legend. I would swear that I saw the clip. That's how crazy. Never the, was made this on shit the air. There's a line, Danny. What's the, can you go up a little there. bit? There's one line here where they really nail what what it what it, what it was. Oh, really? No, go up a little higher uh, to where they were. Uh, it says right there. Uh, he said it, they said it, it, and her cat is a wellspring for one of the greatest manufactured memories in modern pop culture. Wow. I think that there's like they, they people have those like where you've heard it so many times you do think that you saw that the you clip. think you actually I, saw I, it. I would have sworn I saw that yeah. clip and it was Raquel Wells. So they're saying it was Jane Fonda. Yeah. Jimmy but Buffalo it's, it's, it was Jane Fonda. It didn't happen people. It wasn't Jane Fonda. There was something that happened because I, I remember watching recently uh some Danny's of the cars perusing clips. Netflix. <laughs> and uh, there, So were you last night? Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that in a second. A <laughs> I didn't forget. <laughs> what, what were we saying? Yeah, Ed? there was something that happened where uh, a cat was mentioned, and th there was it, it was eluded that a pussy, some kind of pussy but fucking thing. That's what Snopes is saying, then. Nothing happened, anything? No, no, it yeah. wasn't even close to that, though. Uh, I was okay. trying to cut and paste it, but uh, for some reason, Snopes isn't letting me do that. But it mm -hmm. says if... Uh, even if Johnny Carson had made the quip attributed to him, it could not possibly have made it onto the air. Tonight Show was never broadcast live during the Carson years, always taped earlier. Yeah. So, yeah. But, but I would have never it, made it past I thought the clip snuck out. Never. Never would have made it. He might have made it. You know, Carson was so brilliant. He might have made some kind of a quick allusion to her saying something about the cat, and he might have said something about another name. There's probably some line that happened. Yeah. That had, Scroll down a little further and see if there's um, skeptics sometimes point. The implement celebrity bring along a small pet. Yeah, I mean, it's like who's bringing the cat? It it, it didn't happen. It just didn't happen. Can I pet? You? And people are gonna be like, yeah, I saw it. I think there's a lot of people saying that right now. Well, you're idiots. You didn't see it. Uh, How about that? You probably you probably thought you heard, probably heard it once. You didn't want to sound like the parrot that you are, so you said you saw it. You've been telling people that, yeah. and you're afraid they're gonna hear this and realize that you're a true ass. Is that you're phony? All right, you man. are a phony baloney. All right, man, you're hurting me. Not oh, you. I was one of those guys. <laughs> I was like, so yeah. one of those guys. <laughs> so fucking pet the pussy. I would have sworn. As long as you get it off of your cunt. Mm. <laughs> he, oh, here he we go. Never said that either. No, he didn't. <laughs> Let's go to Nate in Hoboken. Nate. All right, I have the Carson DVDs. He's talking to Jane Fonda, and Jane Fonda brings up the story. So Carson tells the story to Jane Fonda, but nowhere is it ever aired that he did actually say that to her uh, with Zsa, Zsa But he is absolutely speaking to Jane Fonda about it. I have it on the DVD. Okay, that is that's what I saw. Can we he, find this? He Probably. tells. Yeah, let's try to find this. He tells Jane Fonda so the maybe, story. Uh, Jane Fonda asked him, right. uh, is it, isn't it true that this happened? Right. And she, she says it, and he goes, no, that never happened. Uh, and and then they kind of tell the story. Oh, there it is. Look at it. God damn, Yeah, we... we uh, 1989, Jane Fonda is on the Carson show. So uh, maybe... talking about this incident. Maybe it did happen, but they never aired it because obviously you can't air something like that. No, it never happened. Never. But, oh, but right, right, Jane right. Fonda thought it happened. Here's Jane Fonda from 1989. Last night, my son... Uh, you know, you were talking about Zsa Zsa Gabor earlier. Yeah, I get everybody's talking about My son's... Said, you know, she was on Johnny Carson's show one time. She came there with a cat on her lap, and she said to you, "Do you want to pet my pussy?" <laughs> and, um, my son said that you said, uh, "I'd love to if you'd remove that damn cat." 
Can't believe that made the air. I, I know, that's amazing. No, I think I would recall that. <laughs> wow, you know, you know Jesus. what? Oh, the Jar Mendoza. <laughs> what all the, the fuck? Man. All the people that said they saw it, I can kind of understand why people would say yeah. they saw it. So I, I, I was seeing Jane yeah, Fonda yeah, yeah, relay yeah. the story without it being cut. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it never happened. But. Now it has almost happened. Yeah, I can see someone remembering that, that and thinking yeah, they yeah, saw the yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was yeah. the now, with the person. Now, uh, a few years go by, and you think that Jane Fonda had the cat on her lap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Jane Fonda had it on a lap. All right, well. <laughs> I don't want Netflix. Why does Snopes want to send me to Netflix? I don't oh. want it. Oh, boy. I have it. You have it? I do. Oh. Hey, hey uh, Mubarak. <sighs> Hosni Mubarak. What's wrong? What's wrong with this asshole? Uh, he doesn't really want to leave. Well, they're gonna drag him out. It's gonna be uncomfortable when they nice drag out the Mussolini hanging by the heels. Yeah, they're gonna like drag that. out this old man, and it's gonna get ugly. Well, he has a chance to go to the Caribbean. And here's his new ploy. He's saying, "Look, hey, I won't run for re-election, but I'm staying in until then, till September. I'm staying in till September, and." Uh, I'm gonna start cracking some skulls because I'm, I'm a little yeah. pissed off. I'm getting pissed off, and there's there's some protesters now hitting the streets that are for Mubarak. That they're saying, "All right, I think there's shenanigans here. I think he's putting them, yeah. you know, out there." Well, rumor has it that some of the uh, looting were done by like uh, undercover yeah, Mubarak his guys. Yeah, to make the. Uh, Make the protesters look bad. This is all oh, sorts really? of rumors. I don't, I, yeah, who knows what who, the fuck? Who knows? Did you see what uh, Twitter did though? They um, they have that voice. Yeah, the Google thing. Yeah, yeah. What? Pretty pretty cool. Uh, people that can't get their shit out over the internet because there's so many problems with the internet, you could just call, leave a voicemail at a certain uh, uh, number, and the voicemail will then go onto a, a site. Uh, that's dedicated to Egypt, so you could just listen to the people going and there were lots of people in the street and blah blah blah. Are they selecting which ones to do though, or or, are you, or you got the dumb tweets? Yeah, is, is there one deal with <laughs> one, yeah. one Egyptian guy going Baba Booey? <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. I, I just heard like angry, angry Egyptian people on the on the, the thing. That's what you got. Like mm. you, you hit the little thing. And it's like, you know, he must go. He is killing his people. Blah, blah, blah. Why am I Indian? But the protesters are starting <laughs> to get a little tired. I mean, you know, they, they got to get back to kind of whatever they do. Yeah. Working, living, whatever. So I... This is Tarbash, <laughs> yeah. the Egyptian magician. <laughs> I need freedom. Need freedom. I eat hot coal. <laughs> I disappear in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Tarbage. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, jerky boys, anyone? Of course. Uh, I everything. One jerky boy doing very well. Yeah, especially now that he's hooked up with Seth MacFarlane. Oh, yeah, know, his so. voice. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. been on that show for a while now. Yeah. Saul, Saul Rosenberg is pretty much his own animated character. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He just changed the name. So many years later, too. Remember when they made that movie? <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. I don't think I ever saw that, but... That was when the Elmhurst tanks were still <laughs> off the expressway. <laughs> That's like a long time ago. Hey, uh... <laughs> so, so, are they gonna drag him out now? Uh, the Army's gotta be uh, getting a little impatient. Well, no one's quite sure where the Army stands on this. They know that the Army's not gonna fire on the people. They've, they've vowed that they will not fire on the people. Yeah. Um, but they, they haven't said anything like they're with the people and are gonna turn around and turn their guns on uh, Mubarak. But that's so, this is still playing out. It's still playing out. Let's see. I think he's waiting it out and trying to wait out the people's passion for this. And hope it goes away. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. They're talking about having another huge march on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I don't know. It's his strategy is to just not say much, still be be in charge, 
and wait for this thing to blow over. Good luck, though. I think I think one of the biggest problems there's not a guy to step up. There's a lot of sort of guys. Yeah, and, and of course the Muslim Brotherhood. Yeah, yeah the Muslim Brotherhood. Who we're rooting for. I'm, I'm with the Muslim All Brotherhood. All in Muslim here. Brotherhood. I want them in there because they will make that region exciting. Oh boy, will they! Very exciting. <laughs> oh, wow. Every oil tanker that tries to go through the Suez will be fired upon. <laughs> It'll just be uh, an amazing uh, life that uh, I think we lead. I think if there was a strong guy kind of rallying the troops, yeah, then this yeah. would be a lot easier. Even this opposition leader uh, that, that has come forward, um, I can't remember his name, but uh, he doesn't have that oomph that the people want No, uh, to put him over the top. Just ain't working. So... Uh, we wait and see what happens. Jordan, I love how in the meantime is starting to oust some of their yeah. uh, political leaders. They're, uh, they're like, oh well, oh, okay. let's do this before they Don't start protesting. Right, right. Yeah, it's kind of smart on their part. Yeah, I love how Obama is telling Mubarak he has to step down. I love how we're yeah, telling yeah, yeah. we're telling the guy, look, you have to step down. Hey Obama, uh, why don't you let the people take, fucking do their thing? Take care of your own backyard, and then we'll try to figure out the mess afterwards. Take care of your own backyard now that your your health care uh, uh, bill has been deemed uh, unconstitutional. <laughs> Are other countries weighing in? Like, I don't mind us weighing in and just giving an opinion, but that's as much as we should do. Again, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. giving more than an opinion. We sent a guy to say basically, you got to fucking get out of here. You we sent go. the main. We sent the main. Uh, what do they call him? Envoy. Envoy. We, we envoy. sent one of those envoy guys. I want to be an envoy. Uh, that that sounds like a fun job. <laughs> I, I bet you travel when you're a lot when you're an envoy. And you can't be, you can't envoy from home. <laughs> no. And he met Mubarak and said, "You got to go. We're telling you you have to go." Yeah. Not the people. We're telling you. The United States is saying, "Look, you really have to go now." He probably went. Who told you? You're just an envoy. Envoy. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's the thing's still going on. Uh, getting, the news not not all over it. Uh, which might, which I'm sure Mubarak likes the fact that the news isn't pounding on it every second now. Yeah, I'm losing because, a little uh, interest. And and if the people lose interest, what was the big story before Egypt? What was the big big story right uh, before Egypt uh, I mean, thing broke? I don't even know anymore. Because it was a big story. Oh, Ted Williams? Uh, no, no, <laughs> it was in between Ted Williams and Egypt. Uh, Charlie Sheen, sure. Uh, Charlie Sheen, that was that was a pretty good one. That would have had more. Charlie life, Sheen's going to do rehab no, at home, which actually, is very though, good news. If you remember, every second of the day, the news was telling you um, about uh, Tucson, the shooting. Oh, right, of course. Uh, how how she's doing? It, it was like this. Whole, I thought that was important to us. Uh, very important. Just shows you what the news is about. Right up until uh, Egypt, but right now, up until the, the next big story. The most important thing, please, if we could. Uh, oh get my God! Live can, we gotta go sound live from Punk Satani, uh, Pennsylvania. They're dancing. It's live. It's uh, Happy Groundhog Day. This is on um, CNBC. CNBC. Oh, they just went off of it. All right, well. Don't we have live footage from there? I hope we do. God, I hate Punxsutawney Phil. I love every year how much Jimmy hates Punxsutawney Phil. I hate these people. (laughs) How great would a fuck with Napalm be? (laughs) He saw his shadow for a split second and then was incinerated. I I will say that normally I don't want to hear Allahu Akbar. (laughs) (laughs) But what Punxsutawney Phil... I want Punxsutawney Phil to see his shadow like people did in Hiroshima. <laughs> I want his little his little shadow to be burnt in that stump yeah. he comes out of. <laughs> so they have a groundhog in Egypt, in Cairo. It's yeah. going to be six more weeks of protesting. If uh, Punxsutawney uh, Phil is beheaded, <laughs> right. we will have six more weeks of Jihad. Chaos. Right. <laughs> Thanks for pumping up my dumb joke. I appreciate it. Punks it, was, it was lacking something. <laughs> Punks of Tony Phil just stinks. Enough. What but at least here is this. But at least he's the main one. What's more embarrassing is everyone else trying to do their own groundhog. Staten Island uh, has what? Staten Island. Where's is our list Chuck? of groundhogs? Is it Chuck? Oh my God! For a second, I thought it was Chip, which would have been yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shadow. No, that's actually just a guy that was murdered in Staten Island. Chuck the groundhog. That was his nickname. <laughs> hey, hey, Chuck the groundhog got wet. <laughs> Uh, and they're saying, uh, uh, because of the weather, it's, it would be very odd if the groundhog did see a shadow and was scared and we had six more weeks of winter. So the forecast is looking for Punxsutawney Phil to 
uh, not see his shadow. Mm -hmm. Thus, we will have an early spring, uh, Opie, an early spring. It's, I all, hate it's all about being scared. Isn't the groundhog scared because of all those drunk shitheads drunk staring at it? Drunk fucking Punxsutawney Pennsylvania assholes. There they are, up top on uh, Morning Joe. They're shitheads. I hate the fact that nothing goes on. They, they desperately hold on to this ritual because without it, their town is nothing. Ah. Uh, even with it, their town is nothing. And they're in Gobbler's Knob, which uh, is a different... Uh, <laughs> it's different for Jim. Jim thought it was another place. Thought it was the bathroom. <laughs> Why me? Gobbler's Knob. Because you've been known to kneel in front of glory holes no, and have ox. I know, it's I'm just kidding. the character that plays on the radio. Exactly. We all know that. Exactly. Then who sucked my cock when I put it through that I hole? was trying to look. I thought it was a periscope. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to see short. Didn't you notice that I went, Hi, matey! <laughs> <laughs> Why would... Uh, hi, matey and a periscope? Yes. But pirates said our matey and they didn't have periscope. Well, I don't know much about... I don't know much about seamanship, do I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come puns rule. <laughs> ah, they certainly do. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, there's... um. Okay, thank you, Danny. Th there's not Ballsack Billy in Alberta, Canada. Ballsack? Ballsack. It's Ballsack, but it's Ballsack. It's Ballsack. In Alberta. Buckeye Chuck is in uh, Ohio. General Beauregard Lee in Georgia. Of course, General Lee. If he sees his shadow uh, and gets spooked... <laughs> Uh, they'll have uh, six more weeks of Freaknik. <laughs> <laughs> I think they ran Freaknik out of that area. Did they? I think we got to update that oh, shit. Jesus I know we were down there once for it. Yeah, but... Freaknik! Freaknik! That's great. Uh, Why is everyone running away? They they actually told us that they're leaving town for a week. Yeah, they I'll were. Forget that. We were flying in, and everybody was the airport like, "Airport was packed." I'm like, "What's going on?" Everyone was <laughs> fleeing. They were, they were fleeing Atlanta. <laughs> they're like, "Oh, every year we take our vacation around Freaknik and get the hell out of here." And they were looking at us coming in like we were crazy. And then and then we're driving down <laughs> one of those twelve lane highways that that the Atlanta area has. Yeah, and and I, I saw nothing but like. Uh, businesses boarded up. I'm like, wow! Did a fucking hurricane hit yeah, this what area? Happened? Is there? Oh uh, no, it's Freak Nick. We got to prepare for Freak Nick. Yeah. Oh. Someone's got to update that. Is that still happening down in the Atlanta? I think area? they moved Freak Nick somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, not sure where. Let's see. All right. No. No. Wow. <laughs> Last year they canceled it. Oh really? Oh boy. Remember we were stuck in traffic because someone decided they had a they had to stop their car and then uh, one of these booty chicks got on the roof of the car <laughs> and started doing and, that and doing that booty dance. She she squatted she, down. She put her hands on her thighs <laughs> and just put her head over her shoulder. She's looking over her shoulder and just started like <laughs> wiggling her ass in a circle, waiting for, for a, a male to come up behind her and just start <laughs> fucking pumping on her ass. Wait, what the fuck it is was, that about? It was on a highway, though. It was on a highway. <laughs> I what swear happened? to God. I swear to God. I swear to I thought uh, one of them was going to rip off our rearview mirror. <laughs> I swear it was it on a highway. To me once. It wasn't on a side street. We're like, why? Why is there delay? Oh, it was crazy. And then it happened in front of us because I guess it was a chain reaction. It, it was happening way down the road, and then, yeah. oh, if you're going to do it, we're going to do it. <laughs> no, that's that not the clip, Danny. Sure? That's not the clip. Sure? Oh, my God. I, I'm not even going to say what so that fired. is. So fired. So fired. Oh. I hear you could get in there with we a We got Coke a freak Nick though. update. <laughs> That's what happened, right? Yeah. Oh, there Jesus is. Christ. You knew, you knew to go to that video. That's, uh, That's pretty amazing. How to find Evan one of those in, videos. Uh, Atlanta. Evan. Morning, boys. How you doing? Uh, pretty good. My Islanders, they're not really my Islanders, but they beat your Thrashers last night. I thought they lost in a shootout. We don't really pay any attention to the Thrashers, but I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> good for you, man. Yeah. It's better I'll that way. What happened to, to Freak Nick? Our, one of our former corrupt mayors, Bill Campbell, the way that he defeated Freak Nick, uh, he just, and this is the truth, he closed off every exit on the interstate that runs through downtown Atlanta <laughs> and just left the perimeter open so all those idiots could do was drive around in a big circle. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Who yelled, that, who, who yelled uh, racism? Uh, well, some of the local characters down here, you know, the uh, the professional poverty pimps, you know, the Sharpton wannabes. Yeah. yeah. But the, the bear was black. The guy who did it, it was a black guy. Yeah, but I... he knew it was bad for business. It was bad oh, for... Oh, it, uh... it, 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 would, it would take the entire city and just put it... I mean, it was done. It would it, shut it, it would... down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We saw you. You couldn't we do anything. We absolutely saw it. We had to fly in because we uh, had an interview with a radio station, and it was the same exact time. Boy, it, was, it was unbelievable. Yeah. 
Yeah, but that's they 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 shut it down on the, and the way they did it was just hilarious. The all these people drove into town and they tried to get off the interstate <laughs> and there was a cop at every single exit ramp. Keep moving. And they they're like, "Let me see your license. If you don't live here, back on the interstate." <laughs> oh, I would be ghost driving the whip. Yeah. So now, now they go down to the beach. They go down to Savannah and they have what they call Black College Spring Break. Black College Spring Break. Yep, uh, they have it down That's down where in, Freaknik is. Yeah. Or that's right. how it started. How many are in college, though? Oh, please. That actually go to Freaknik, because uh, some of the people I saw, um, and, you know, I could be wrong, because uh, who am I? I can't base uh, just on looks, but I saw some people that I didn't look like they were in college. They look a little too old, first of all, to be in college. Yeah, unless and, they were uh, going to DeVry. But, uh, I, DeVry. I They're in the DeVry Institute. Yeah. <laughs> well, then I think they turn into, like, a reunion, so if you were ever in college. Oh, okay. And then you got some guys going, you know what, I'm just going to sneak in and make believe I'm in college. Yeah. <laughs> or, or we're in college. All right, punch it out. Thanks, fellas. I'm also hearing that it, they moved it to Miami. Uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or I know New Orleans has it, uh, Savannah has it, and somewhere down in Florida. Wow. All right. Thank you, sir. Right, That's... uh. That's a surprise, though, when you fly into those cities and don't know what's going on. You go like, oh, that was, wow. That was unbelievable. Uh, well, let me see if this guy could add to that. John in Pennsylvania, could you add to that? Hey, Jen. Yeah, uh, what's going on, buddy? Hey, man. Uh, 1996. 1996 is when they canceled Freak Me. Wow, it's that long ago? 96? No way. No, nah, because we flew that down. Was the last year. The last year of Freaknik was 96. Dude, we were there. Yeah, we flew down around 97, like 98, yeah, somewhere around yeah. there. Right after we got and, the boot in Boston, we yeah. flew down there, and it was going on full force. It was absolutely going on. Yep. And I know they moved it to Texas. They had one in Galveston, Texas. Uh, All right. Somewhere around South Carolina, Florida, and okay. uh, somewhere else. All right. All right, sir. Thank, Thank you, you for the Im erroneous information. Yeah, let's go to Melvin who wants to talk about Groundhog Day. Is oh, it Groundhogs Melvin. or Groundhog? Oh, well, that's good. Well, I would think Groundhogs now because there's so many Groundhogs good point. Uh, out there. It's Groundhog's not just Punxsutawney. What's up, Melvin? Good morning. Hey. Morning. Hey, I'd like to morning. add about this uh, gay Groundhog Day thing. Uh, and you know what, um, Quarryville, Pennsylvania is where the home of Johnny Weir. Uh, well, they have a Octavore Orphy down there, and uh, it seems like they have their own Groundhog Club, where they actually get like a, initiate a new member every year. And uh, what they do is, I guess they, <laughs> I they throw some guy in the water and it gets all did wet. You, and, did you uh, phase out? No, I did. I just creeped out. Oh, okay. I kind of. Uh. Oh, did he go? <laughs> he got, he no, got. he's still there. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, thought you got all, I thought you got all weirded out. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> no, I was just talking about Groundhog Day and, uh, and, and Quarryville. In like Quarryville. So they have a groundhog in Cor So everyone has to have a groundhog now? Yeah, really? Yeah, it's, it's uh, called Octavora Orphy. Yeah. And what, they, and what they do, they have like their own little groundhog festivities, and they initiate a new member every year. And uh, they throw him in the Octoroar <laughs> Creek, and uh, I guess he'll be Let's like go a for lifelong five. member. That's two. Yeah. Around doing, you know. Melvin, what do you got for the show? Groundhog Day? Well, yeah, that was it, yeah. What, what was it? The, just, you know, uh, throwing you in on you know, uh, the groundhogs and stuff, what they do. Around, no, but I what know. happens around where you are? Yeah, because it seems like there's a lot of groundhogs. Uh, yeah, there is a lot. I think uh, Pucks of Tony Phil's down here, and there's, uh, there's like maybe four others. Is there a ritual that goes on near you? That's different than uh, the main groundhog. No, not really. No, no. But uh, one of the guys I work with, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. into that. He's into that stuff, and uh, I just. And what does he do? Seems stupid and gay to me. Like what? What kind of uh, ritualistic thing does he do? Oh uh, well, I, I guess he did, he just go down and. Uh, do you have a groundhog in your area? That's all. That's the only reason we took your call. Yes. <laughs> oh. Well. Well, I got nothing else then, fellas. You know, <laughs> okay. I'm just, I'm just, you know, calling in the show. First time caller. No, uh, you're doing a good well. job, but do you have a local groundhog? No, not really. I mean, there's, in, in, in Lancaster's <laughs> area, there's like, there's like about six of them. Yeah, yeah, huh? And the one's like Pucks of Tawny Phil, uh -huh. and Dr. Rare Orphy. Right. What's that one? Pucks of Tawny Phil. Oh, no, we know that Dr. one. Orphy. 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 Yeah. Hmm. That's three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all I got, man. Uh, what is Orphy? Pakistani Phil's a groundhog. Yeah. What is Orphy? It's another groundhog. There's there's a whole bunch of it's them. It's just called there. Orphy the Groundhog? Yeah. He's where? In Quarryville, the home of Johnny Weir. 
What, Johnny Weir lives there? Well, he used to live in Quarryville, yeah. and, they're, and they're big on the groundhog thing. I mean, what about his brother, Brett? <laughs> Brett Weir, yeah. the super across the way. <laughs> and don't make me come over there for you, too, tough guy. Can we play old school love jerky that. voice today? God, did I love that. We're going to play one to break? All right, good. All right, uh, Melvin, thank you so much. Yes, yeah. a great first-time call. Absolutely. Please, we look please forward call to more again. calls from you. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'll call again. Uh, you know, I just had the opportunity to call you up. There. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Love this. Melvin, what do you do for a living? I'm um, in construction. Uh, I've been recently laid off. You know how important that is? I build things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I do. Why the layoff? Lack of work? Uh, I'm partially probably because of the weather. Are you a union guy? Yeah. What did you no, build? Union, sun uh, tents? No. What is a sun tent? Yeah, I'm doing the drywall up there. <laughs> no, I don't do that stuff. I, I do a little bit of everything. Yeah. A little of everything. All right. Yeah, huh? Okay. Sun okay. tents don't you know exist. What? what? I, uh, it, it, I, I, I play the program at work. The and program? There's two foremen that don't like this program. Oh, boy. They're dirty. And I've gotten in trouble several times. Oh, now don't get yourself in trouble. Exactly. And and tell those two queer foremen. To, to keep buggering each other in the fucking trailer while you work hard. Because <laughs> that's what those two faggots are doing right now. <laughs> one of them has his helmet down, and he's buggering the other one. He's deep dicking the other foreman. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would be well, funny. Yeah, that's why Jimmy's going with it. Uh, all right, yeah. Melvin, now we're on your side. Fuck your bosses. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go construct something. Yeah. Go fucking build something. I am building something. Yeah. I'm doing my own home right now. Oh. Well. Uh, well. Uh, you don't get paid for that. Well. I know that, but it's you know. My sweat best. equity, as they call it, a little sweat equity. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Stack right, up so the... Uh, all right, yeah. All yeah. right, we got to go to we got to go to the Groundhog thing. Where is that? Right. Even though everyone knows it's going to be less winter or something. Hmm. Well, every year it's been fucking more winter, but there's so it's so cloudy, it's so stormy out that I'm thinking. Oh, prognosticator! And I'll tell you, if you're selling top hats. You made a bundle today. No kidding. And listen to that music. No kidding. Sunny and Cher. What does that have to do with? Oh, Remember the movie Groundhog wow, Day? Wow, really? No, Every we time don't. that the uh, alarm radio went off in Bill Murray's hotel room, it was playing that oh song. Oh, my God. Right. In fact, that guy behind him looks a little like Bill Murray. <laughs> 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 I, I, I Why are we listening to them and not the guy? Today. Fuck, which is? Are we sober? Uh, yeah, we, we know the answer already. <laughs> They're That's full of spirit. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we'll check in with uh, them in about 30 minutes. In oh, the meantime, 30 minutes. They'll be, uh, 30 minutes. They'll be doing you. their thing. I can't wait. And more uh, more info from uh, the future people. Yes, I didn't know. I didn't know that song was in the movie Groundhog Day. Uh, I had no, no idea. I didn't either. So thank you, future people. Thank God for those. Nothing people. but future people on the on, on the news today. Future people. <laughs> future people. <laughs> Let's break. Yeah. Do you know, by the way, just uh, Jane Fonda. Yeah. I, my my father's a military guy, so he's always. I, I oh. didn't. He explained to me why. Hated her. He hates, hate, right? He, yeah, I would, I, he would want her movies in the house, and no. I didn't. He explained to me why. Car, commie. You know who hates uh, Jane Fonda? Is my mom. Oh. Fucking despises Jane Fonda. Wonder if Sam's same reason. mom hates uh, Jane Fonda. The same Fonda. fucking reason. Well, what's amazing? I was just reading her on Snopes, like what she did. Everything she they said she did was pretty much true, except she did not. Like, there was rumors that the POWs had slipped her paper and she had turned it over. That never happened. But the other stuff did happen. The, uh, you know, sitting on the aircraft. She sat on any aircraft battery and... Yeah. Said that she called them liars when they came back. Yeah. I, I, I hate this fucking cunt so much. I know. And it's amazing to me how Michael career Michael Richards, he didn't have much of a career after Seinfeld, but he's ruined because he said nigger on stage. Yeah. Mel Gibson was recorded saying nigger, and he said to wet backs, and his fucking career is in deep trouble. This fucking pig yeah. fucking said our soldiers were lying, and she had a great movie career after. I yep. fucking hate this woman. Yeah, she's like Wow, a, do I hate Jane Tokyo Fonda. Rose. Yep. But even bitch. she wasn't as bad, because they said she did it under duress. That's what yeah. she said, at least. Wow. Yeah, yeah, she just went there. She's like, oh, let me hang out with the enemy and uh, you know, sit on uh, anti-aircraft guns that have killed airmen. Ah, what a bitch. Fuck her. But it's amazing. She, she should have been scorned from, from fucking uh, uh, celebrity. Who? Shane Fonda? Yeah, she should have been a doubt. thrown out of Hollywood. Roman Polanski stuck his dick in a 13-year-old's ass, drugged. He was forgiven. He fucking went on to Thank make God. films. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's amazing who yeah. they forgive.
Yeah. I think yeah. Woody Allen's a genius, but Woody Allen was forgiven for what he did. Yeah. Um, but man, you say something racially inappropriate, mm -hmm. and fucking you, you are You're cooked. You're done. You are fucking cooked. Unbelievable, Not yeah. Fair. She She's still just able to skip through through life. Uh, people wow, love she, her. I can't believe how angry I am reading but about this woman again. Veterans, oh my God. They Good, they shouldn't forgive her. her. And they, they should. And and wherever she goes, they let it be known that they do not like her. I love when they disrupt her movies. That's Book why she signings, apologized. They were like disrupting yeah. her movie. Yeah, of course. She's not apologizing for anything. She's a fucking king. Her father was embarrassed by that, too. Henry Fonda. Oh, I bet. He's mortified. Yeah. Dumb fucking daughter. Go make more naked movies, you, you slut. <laughs> oh, hate her. Very good. Hey, um, <laughs> before we go to break, I was I was kind of just wondering if... Um, well, Yemen's president is stepping it, down. Really? Yemen president stepping down. Says interest of country outweighs his own. Holy shit. Because they're protesting in Yemen. He doesn't want to deal with this shit. Who's going to step in there? Muslim Brotherhood? Muslim Brotherhood. Let's Muslim get the shirts made. <laughs> uh, wow, that's, that's big news, huh? Hmm. Whole Middle East is changing. Yemen government shakeup. President says he will not seek re-election. He's stepping down. Wow. He doesn't want to deal. He wants to live. He's like, yeah, I don't care. I'll fucking he, relax. He wants to live. Hey, uh, I was wondering about uh, groundhogs, and I was thinking if, like, you know, where we're from, Long Island had one. Did it? Does it? Oh yeah, it does. Oh. Where? That's the only reason why I'm mentioning. At a bald hill. It's a it's a ghetto one. Is it in wine dance? Uh, Brentwood? Uh, mm. uh, it's uh, Malvern. Malvern. Malvern was a little rough. <laughs> Malvern Malik? <laughs> there you go. It's Malvern Malik. It's the groundhog out there at Long Island. <laughs> you know what? That, exactly. I'm not even going to say the name now because that's too good. Uh, All right. We'll continue. Stay there. <laughs> Rob Bitch.